Chapter 9. God's Covenant with Noah and the Sons of Noah Genesis Chapter 9 focuses on the covenant that God establishes with Noah and his descendants after the flood, as well as the blessings and responsibilities that accompany it. God blesses Noah and his sons, commanding them to be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. He gives them authority over the animals, allowing them to eat both plants and animals for sustenance. However, they are forbidden from consuming the blood of animals, which represents life. God establishes a covenant, not only with Noah but also with every living creature on earth, promising that never again will a flood destroy all flesh. As a sign of this covenant, God sets the rainbow in the clouds, serving as a reminder of his promise to preserve life. Noah's descendants, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, play significant roles in this chapter. Noah curses Ham's son Canaan because of Ham's disrespectful actions towards Noah. On the other hand, Noah blesses Shem and Japheth, expressing a desire for them to prosper and dwell in the tents of Shem. The chapter also addresses the issue of murder. God establishes a system of justice and institutes capital punishment for those who shed human blood, emphasizing the sanctity of human life. Genesis chapter 9 highlights the continuity of God's faithfulness and his desire to establish a covenant relationship with humanity. It emphasizes the responsibility of Noah's descendants to maintain righteousness and to respect the sanctity of life. The chapter sets the stage for the subsequent accounts of the nations that emerge from Noah's sons and the development of human civilization.